Hi, it's Hope, and welcome to the video. Sorry if I'm talking quiet. My parents are awake, and I don't really want them to bother me. So, this is going to be a different video than I normally film. This is going to be a reading vlog slash readathon vlog for Becca's 48-hour book off bookopoly readathon. And if you don't know what that was, I guess, um, I'll have that video down below. Um, but this is just going to be me kind of saying, like, throughout the day, popping in and being like, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm reading, all that. And here's how this readathon kind of works. Is, firstly, I'm in a different time zone than the readathon, so the readathon starts at midnight, um, the 11th, um, for the UK time. But for me, I'm in Canada, so it starts at 5 p.m. for me. Um, and it's currently 4.30, so I'm just about to start that. And how it works is every 12 hours, there is a prompt drop. We were given the first set of prompts, and each prompt drop, there's going to be two different prompts. For the first prompt drop was paranormal slash magical realism or a chance. I had a pull up on my Twitter for about a week, and the book that I got for chance was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and I have the ebook on uh, my iPad, so that is where I'm going to be reading it. And now, and then every 12 hours, there's going to be a prompt drop. Which will be, which means it will be 5, 5 a.m., 5 p.m., and then 5 a.m. again. And I'm lucky that I'm probably up at 5 in the morning, so I'll be seeing that prompt and then immediately going to bed, probably. Um, but today I don't really have much to do besides read, but then tomorrow I have a lot of stuff to do, which I'll talk about tomorrow. But I just wanted to do this little intro and. Do not mind if throughout this video there is a sound of fans or anything like that. I'm not going to be turning off all my fans just to film a little clip. Some some parts might be darker or a different sh different color of lighting because if I'm in a different part of my room. Um, and this is going to be very like condensed, very short. I'm not going to be like picking up the camera while I'm in like, the living room or the kitchen getting food type thing. Um, because my parents don't really know I'm doing YouTube, let alone they would not be comfortable with themselves being on the, like, being on video or right now our entire house is a disaster mess. So, another reason why I won't be showing any other part of the house type thing. My room is honestly a huge mess too, so... I'll probably pop up the camera or hold it or something, but throughout the day I will just turn on the camera and like once I start the book, maybe once I'm like a hundred pages in and pop in and be like, so this is what I'm doing. This could be an absolute flop, but I'm just going to film what I want to film if I decide I, don't not, I do not want to film for the rest of the read readathon and just want to um, pop in at the end and be like this is what I end up reading, these are the prompts, all that. We'll just wait and see. But I hope you enjoyed this video and if the, this is choppy or there's only a few clips, I'm sorry. But whatever the next clip is, the next clip will be. So the readathon began just eight minutes ago and of course, as soon as the readathon starts, my mom makes supper. So I'm going to eat, which is. It's not a lot. I'm not that hungry. Ooh. I'm not used to vlogging. Um, but that is good because I want to finish my YouTube video and then we're going to start reading. So I'm about to start reading and. It's only been, it's, it's currently 5.24, and I'm going to currently start reading. I'm going to read about two or three chapters, check back in, 
and then maybe do a little time lapse of me reading. Reading on, but reading on an iPad is kind of a little bit weird for a, uh, like a time lapse, but yeah, also, if this is ever like shaky or anything, I'm bad at, bad at vlogging. Also, right now, I really wish that this camera had stinking, had a stinking flip up, um, like screen. Because currently, I'm literally just like looking at myself in the back, like screen, in the reflection of my laptop. So, yeah. I'm gonna get reading and we'll check back in in like a couple chapters or like half an hour or something, I don't know. So it is currently 5.64 and I managed to read six chapters so far. First of all, like for any of these books that I read in this, I'm not really gonna go into much detail about what I like. I will do all of that at, once I finish the book, but so far I'm liking it. I managed to read, I think, I managed to read 14% of the book, which honestly feels like a lot to read in like less than half an hour or around half an hour, but I'm liking it so far. So all that, I'm going to go ahead and have this as a little like time lapse I guess if it turns out I don't know but tell about 6 30 or so I'm gonna time lapse about half an hour to an hour or so just till this comes out of footage probably but here we go so how I said that I was only going to read until like 6 o'clock or so, well, it is 8 o'clock now. I did film a little bit of a time lapse portion, but once, but my camera died halfway through. So my camera died around 6.30 and then I ended up charging it, exporting the footage from before, and then started trying to edit the time lapse to see if a time lapse was possible, but to make a t time lapse possible, it was very, very, very choppy. Like when I mean it was, excuse me, thunder. It also started thundering and lightning, and the power went out for about a minute. Um, but so far, everything's just been chaotic. Um, but so unfortunately, I'm not able to do time lapses like I thought, of, like I wanted to. I might try and film on my phone and um, see if that video works better with a um, time lapse, but the way that this camera works with the frames per second, it just, it becomes so choppy, it's just like chop, 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 and it doesn't look smooth like I'd want it to, so that is unfortunate, but so far, I don't even know how far I am in because I'm currently turning the iPad. I think I'm about 27% through the book, I want to say, which isn't that bad. Um, I plan on letting the iPad charge till about 8 o'clock, and then I'm probably going to read till 8 o'clock, it is about like 8.30 or so, um, and then I'll read a little bit more, let it chart, um, probably read another like half an hour to an hour, then probably grab a snack, and then get in bed and ready, get ready to get ready for bed and all that. I don't know. Um, I'm tired, so me being up till five in the morning, like normally, like I normally do, might not work out. But I might keep on reading, and that might wake me up. But my only thing is, is if um, I finish the book before the um, next prompt drop, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably sit on TikTok till then, like I normally do. So that's a little update. I'm sorry time lapses can't work. I was really hoping I could, but crap, kind of having a, the downsides of having a crappy camera. But it was the cheapest one I could afford. That was decent. 
So I am currently 49% through A Darker Shade of Magic and I am going to crawl into bed and read more. Um, I will update you either in the morning if I fall asleep reading it or once I'm finished, probably when I'm finished because I'm a little bit tired but honestly I probably will be awake. I notice that I'm always tired until I start reading in bed and then I wake up and then it's like oh shit what do I do for the next four hours while I try to wait to get tired again but we will just see. I know I'm gonna have this finished though before the next prompt drop unless I fall asleep I don't know but we'll just see. So it is currently 1.32 and I finished the book about half an hour ago. Um, the like star rating I would give it is about four stars. I enjoyed the overall plot of it, the overall arc. I enjoyed the idea of this and learning about the four different Londons, learning about the history of the worlds. Um, I really enjoyed Kel as a um, character and all that. I like Lila as a character. Um, what else can I say about this? Um, overall, it was a good book. I'm glad I read it. I am already kind of wanting to read the second one because of to know what it know what, to know what continues with this story, um, but I really don't have much to say. A lot of times with reading books, I don't have much to say, um, but since it's currently like 1.30 in the morning, I'm not tired because I ended up taking a little nap in between reading. I read a little bit, took a nap, woke up, and then read more. I didn't mean to take a nap, I meant to go to bed for the night, but a nap is only what happened. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do while waiting is I'm going to read a few more chapters of Shatter Me by Tara Moffey. This is a book that I started last night and it's one that I, I, I started last night and since I have enough time I'm going to read only a couple chapters of this and then probably go on Netflix and find like a TV show to watch or go on TikTok or something like that. I haven't really decided, but once it is five and um, the next prompt drop happens, I will update you on what I decide to read, like what are the prompts, what I decide to read. I'm really hoping I can fit this one in a prompt because I am only 33 pages in. Yeah, I'm on 30, 33 pages in on chapter 6, so like, if I can fit the, I'm going to read this like I can fit into a prompt, um, and then if I can't, then oh well, but just because I like having a physical book going and I don't know if any of my other books are going to fit that prompt or I'm going to, or anything like that, so we will just have to wait and see, but yeah. So it is currently um, like 503 5 and the prompts just got dropped and the first prompt is culturally diverse, a book that is culturally different than your own experience. This can be set in a different country, following mar marginalized characters, a translated book, or set in a fantasy world inspired by a real world, world country or culture. This one I don't really have a book that I know I can read, but the fourth prompt is viewer recommendation, a book recommended by an audience. If you don't have an audience, you could also do the phone. Friend recommendation, Twitter recommendation, Instagram recommendation, book tour recommendation, basically any book that you've been told good things about. And this, I'm so glad, is Shatter Me by Tara Mafia. I'm already 100 pages into it, but I was on TikTok earlier and I literally saw people recommend this book 
at least five to ten times there was videos being like books you should read or if you like this book you might like this book so it technic it for this readathon it technically isn't cheating as long as you finish the book within the 48 hours so yes i am a hundred pages in but also i was only 30 pages into it when i started so there's that also i'd probably even go ahead and read the um in the back of this one there is um the entire um destroy me novella so i'll probably also read that because why the hell not but yay i'm so excited i could read this like <clears throat> but now i just need to take figure now i just need to see if i can get the ebook of this on my phone so that when i do my things tomorrow i don't need to take a book with me but yeah i'm so excited like ah so it is currently 2.30 p.m. on the is it, on the 11th. I literally just got out of bed. I slept way longer than I wanted to. I was supposed to go over to my grandma's to help her clean, but I slept too long. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. But at 3 o'clock, we have to babysit my, my little cousin. Um, and we babysit him until about... 8 or 8 30 so i'm gonna try and get some reading in but i we like i'll try and get some reading in when he takes a nap because normally he takes a nap about five o'clock so but other than that i'll have the book on my phone trying to read or the physical book i haven't decided probably my phone because he's at the age where anything paper he'll try to rip so i'm scared that he'll come to me, grab the book, and rip it. Um, so that's what my afternoon is. If I can get any clips of um, that, we'll put those in, but yeah. Haven't done really fuck all since the last clip except sleep and miss out on doing something, but I'll either be doing going to my grandma's tomorrow or if not Monday. I don't know, but keep you updated on that. So it is currently 5.22, and um, my cousin just went to, just took a nap, so I've been kind of reading, well, trying to babysit him, but it's been kind of a struggle, but at 5 o'clock, the next two prompts to be announced were, were, um, a gifted book, which the only gifted books I have are the Akhtar series, but I I kind of want to read them, but I want to read an ebook because I read through ebooks much quicker. So I chose the the second prompt of this this group, which was mystery slash thriller, and for this I am picking We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. And I'm going to finish that as soon as I finish Chatter Me, which I'm about, um, I can tell you the exact percent. It is 56% through. Um, but I plan on, while he's taking a nap, he'll probably take about, hopefully, hopefully a 45 minute nap. So with that, I will keep on reading and hopefully get almost finished but we will have to see um other than that i'm really doing nothing else sorry if this video is boring so far but my life is pretty boring but yeah i'm gonna get to reading but yeah so it is now 6 15 i went ahead and grabbed a sandwich and a drink i have i think seven chapters left seven or eight chapters left and i totally forgot it's saturday so i need to upload a video so the upload the, the video that i'm uploading is going to be my how i got into reading video um and yeah i'm gonna take a little break to eat upload that video and then go back to reading and hopefully my cousin will not be awake yet 
but you never know. So, update, it is 8.17, my cousin just left, so I am now free for the night so I can read, but I have to tackle that. All of that on my bed is laundry, so I'm going to probably relax for like 10 minutes or so. Um, and then probably listen to music while I put that toy away or something. And then I'm not sure. I'll let you know when I decide what I want to do. So it's 9.39. I finished the laundry. I currently have some food in the microwave. But I totally remembered that I forgot to say how I ended up liking um, Shatter Me. And I absolutely loved it I understand where it gets the hype from I loved it and I'm literally to the point that can the can one of can the next prompt drop fit um, what's the second one oh I'm having the biggest brain fart in history um, can the next prompt drop fit in um, any type of thing that I can use for Unravel Me because like I want to continue with this so much. Um, I definitely see myself the second that my art, that my already made TBR is done, I'm going to be picking up more of these books. I Food's going to be made here in the next couple minutes. I'm going to eat that and then um, jump into bed and start reading there so there's not much really to update on. So it is like 12.03, 12.04 or something, and I just finished Google Liars by E. Lockhart, and holy shit, I don't really know what to say about it. I, 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 mm, I've never felt myself right after just like initial reaction with the book, but again, my brain is just like going, holy shit what like I at the beginning I was not expecting that what was the like twi plot twist I guess to be the plot twist like I can't obviously say what it is because spoilers but I just don't know how to feel like I liked it I gave it I'm, I'd say it's like four stars it's not the best but like it's really good like I'm sitting here going why didn't I read this thing sooner like it's so fucking good like the way the big reveal happens and you're like wait but like what huh that literally was my reaction it was just kind of like what like I audibly had a what the fuck is going on moment at the big like plot was reveal whatever you want to call it um but yeah I'm going to probably try to sleep um but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep um but if I fall asleep, I'll check back when I wake up. If I don't, I'll check back in when I decide what I'm going to do, I guess. So I ended up not falling asleep. But I also just realized that any of the books that I have read for this entire readathon would count as culturally diverse because A Darker Shade of Magic takes place in like London, in, like in London, which is set in a different country, plus in that book the worlds are culturally diverse in different ways, and then Shatter Me takes place in what is meant to be like the like dystopian United States, 
which is a different country for me since I'm from Canada. And then We Were Liars takes place in um, the U.S., so a different place for me. So, and shockingly, I'm not going to use any of those books for the actual culturally diverse prompt. I am going to read the, what, I am going to read The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky, which is a novella for um, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, and this takes place in... The setting, according to Goodreads, is Sanatory Greece, um, which obviously is a different continent and whole from where I'm from, but also this book takes place in like the seven in like the 1700s. So it's also culturally diverse because it's in a different time from me. So, yeah, also this one's on my, like, TBR for the month, so it works, and it's, like, 1 a.m. This is, I'm not, I laid down for a little bit, so I'm not really that tired, so I feel like I can get this more than done before the time's up, because also it's only 128 pages, so I'll do that. Also, I want to jump back into the world with these characters, so that's what I'm going to do. So, a gen so, The Gentleman's Guide to um, Getting Lucky only took me about less than 45 minutes to read. I was laughing, I was crying, there was so much funny shit. Like, it's literally just the story of um, Monty and Percy trying to um, figure out their future and navigate their first time together and it had me laughing like I it had me just being like what the fuck is going on in a funny way like I don't know um since there's only two I'm probably going to chill on honestly I'm probably gonna chill on TikTok till like five unless like a YouTube video gets uploaded or something just kind of hang out around the on my iPad, um, but once the final set of prompts are revealed, I'm going to hopefully try to pick one. Honestly, I said I wanted to read four books for this readathon, and I read four, so honestly, if the next, um, like two sets of prompts don't feel like any I want to do, I won't do them, but I'll probably find one I want to do because I want to say I've done at least one from each set of each set of prompts. Um, and also, like the last book I read, like it was really short. It didn't it didn't feel like a book because of how quick and short it was and how I just sped through it. Um, but yeah, so it is 5 a.m. We have the final prompt. And the final prompts were like fucking amazing ones, which were YA fantasy. And for that, I am reading Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shawnee McGuire. And then the final prompt was um, contemporary or romance. And if I finish Beneath the Sugar Sky, I will try and read the Fox Hole Court by. So it is 3.34 and I'm officially calling it quits for the readathon. I managed to read five books. I was not able to read The Fox Court by um, Nora Sol Sakovic, but I ended up reading I have a thing here. Let me pull it up. Um, overall, my goal was to read four books. I'm going to go just overall through what I read and all that. So for the chance prompt, I read A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. For Culturally Diverse, I read The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky. For viewer recommendation, I read Shatter Me by Tara Moffey. For um, mystery slash thriller. And the contemporary prompt, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. And YA Fantasy Beneath the Sugar Sky by Seanan McGuire. Um, I read a total of 1,282 pages, which 
blows my fucking mind. This is the best weekend of reading ever, and I... And I don't know what to say, like, I'm so glad that this happened because I read two books, well, three books that I didn't think I was going to, well, two books that I originally wasn't going to read this month and enjoy, and those were We Were Liars and Beneath the Sugar Sky. Um, but I, I don't know, I still don't know how I feel about doing this, like, reading vlog type thing. Um. I don't want to say I might try to start doing them, but I might pick up the camera every so often throughout the week and just be like, so this is what I'm reading, this is what I thought type thing. Um, and then if I am doing something fun or exciting, film it on either here or my phone or something, uh, probably my phone because my mom would kill me if I ended up breaking this, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and yeah, bye for now.